is Vijay from MBA 100 and here in this super 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 short session we are going to give you answers to all 20 quant and DI questions that were asked in slot 1 of CMAT 2023. There was something very special about CMAT 2023 quantitative aptitude section. There were many questions in which you had two statements and then you had to decide how many of those were correct. So you ended up solving many more than 20 questions. All right. Here is your first question and here the answer was one is incorrect and two is correct. And in fact, if you solve this, right, this value will come out to be three and not 0 0.3. This is absolutely all right. A and B and whereas I'm sure everyone would have got it right. The answer is rupees 160. Consider the following statements. Now this is incorrect, of course, because if two and three are the roots, then this should have been plus six. This also is incorrect because here is very clearly given that the roots are distinct. If the roots are distinct, then we cannot have this equality sign. All right. So here the answer is both the statements one and two are incorrect. What about this one? Easy peasy. We all know the answer is nine. All right. The dimension of a rectangular floor. Okay. The answer is eight, one, four. And how did we get 814? 37 into 22. Isn't that? All right. MAT. Come on. 1947 is a very special year for us. Isn't that? The answer is 653. How many of you marked 1949? Please tell me. All right. What about this one? Here we have put a star mark. And I'm sure all those people who get the right answer to this by chance would not be challenging this question but here all the four options were incorrect i also marked this one okay in the examination this minus sign was not given okay so all the four options were incorrect this one was the closest to the right answer all right okay what about this one simple 15 2 by 3 was the answer and this one all right 100 Kilometer per hour, right? Okay. Now, what about this one? Both the statements were correct. And this one? Come on. Rupees 1040. What about this one? Square root of W square minus 3Y square. What about this one? Both 1 and 2 are correct. Yes. Here, again, in order to do one question, you needed to solve three and the answer here is only B and C are correct. Okay. All right. Now here we are certainly going to challenge this question as well. And why so? What does it mean? What does it mean? Was it probability of A when B has already happened, right? Or they tried to say probability of A union B. Do we know? No, we do not. So how can we decide? How can we decide? All right. We could not understand it. If you could understand it, please put that understanding in the comment section of this video. Hmm. First of all, this entire set was based on many, many, many hypotheses, right? Many assumptions. All right. But okay. Here. How many players made more than 60 runs in all the three tournaments put together? The answer was 210. What about this one? Again, 210. So there were two questions with the answer 210. What about question number 18? Well, the answer was 40%. All right. Okay. The ratio of the players who scored more than 60 runs in the tournament Q to the players who scored less than or equal to 20 runs. The ratio was 5 is to 14. All right. What about this one? What was the value of M minus L? If my memory is serving me right, one of these numbers was 210 and the other one was 105. So the difference was 105. So please do let us know in the comment section of this video, what's your score? And we are certainly going to challenge at least one of the questions. All right. All the best. 